These plates that we're looking at here are iron plates from a iron plate bipolar cell that I built a year or two ago, probably three or four years ago actually. And I, I made a video about this a long time ago and ended up losing it because of Windows Movie Maker, which I do not use anymore. And I never did take the time to repost it, but the subject has come back up and I wanted to show you the tear down of the cell and one of the reasons why I quit using the cell is for the simple fact that my gaskets failed. The cell itself was fine. Um, I just couldn't find any gaskets this big that were cheap. It costs a lot of money for these gaskets and it takes a lot of time to make them. Buying them pre-made is definitely probably the way to go but um, this is what happened to the iron plates. This is iron basically. It may be steel which just has a little bit of carbon in it or whatever but We've got two different types of oxide. We got this brownish reddish, which is like the number three or whatever. This is one side of the plate that I cleaned up. It really didn't suffer hardly any damage, and I used this cell a lot until the gaskets failed. I tried to tr use shower pan liner for gaskets, which was just a total waste of time. But this here is just from it sitting. It probably set for six months and that's all the, the more that it rusted. This here is a control plate that I had sitting in a pail of water that um, I would period periodically add more water to just to see what type of corrosion and pure water would do. Pure water with no electrolysis did more damage to this iron than running it in an electrolysis cell, which is counterintuitive. The only reason why I tried this is because of some very old literature that I read and some books on the subject of electrolysis that was written back in the 1940s. They did an extensive amount of playing around with this stuff. This is not new. And um, they all used iron plates back then. They didn't go out and splurge on the stainless. They would simply clean these off every couple of months. Now, this black oxide... I think was starting to cause a little bit of resistance in the cell, but it was seemingly negligible. I think this is the F number one oxide. Forget what they call that. It's not an isotrope. It's a, uh, there's a word for that. There's three different forms of iron oxide, and we've got all three of them here, it looks like. There's the white iron oxide, which does come up. Is it uh, allotrope? An allotrope, perhaps of I'll have to look that up. It's been a, a long time since I've uh, said the word so I don't remember for sure but there are three different um, allotropes of iron oxide. It's amazing that this end plate isn't just destroyed. I mean it's got some some problems but not what you would think. And as I said, I let this thing sit for a long time. I don't know what that is. This one here is in really good shape. I did occasionally reverse the polarity, which would clean them. There was kind of a self-cleaning behavior when you do that. If you reverse the polarity on any cell, it'll blast all that crap off the anode usually. So... If anyone ever thinks about uh, wanting to build a cell and you don't have access to stainless steel or you don't have the money to do it, you don't have to have stainless steel. Uh, this thing ran for a long time. As I said, it, I quit using it because the gaskets failed. And by the way, this cell worked better than any cell I've ever built. As far as, I guess it's because I got more surface area than most of them. This one here is close a close second I think once I rearrange the bottom manifold I'm gonna go ahead and just bore straight through the bottom of this one screw all that efficiency crap I need more electrolyte flowing into the bottom I was having some flow problems getting a massive gas pocket to form which means you have flow issues in your cell so I'm gonna drill a couple holes all the way through all the plates screw all that efficiency stuff I need a uh, steady flow gas production and that's what I've got here. These uh, manifolds here worked out great. So, just thought I'd post that because a couple people asked whatever happened to the iron plate cell. 
and it was because my shower pan liner gaskets just smashed so close together that other things happened too as you can see they just kind of they're horrible gaskets they get hot and start spreading out like that so that's that I may one day revive this because it did take a lot of time to uh, drill all these holes and all this stuff and this is about forty two dollars worth of metal it was a dollar a plate at Menards I believe so there you go iron plates sell tear down